Hi, welcome. We are the 1st of May and we've just made a new uh, release, a news release and a new release, both of them. But um, basically, I'm going to make a installation video, how to install Arco Linux XS. So there is a news video, news article, there's a news um, summary of all the things here. Same thing here, Arco Linux Editions. What is this new ISO we have? Arco Linux XL, Arco Linux XS, and we're going to install XS now. We've downloaded it from, this is a special time in the sense it's one week before release. If you um, have been with um, Arc Linux for a while, you know that at that point in time, we share our ISOs with the world and it's called AAG. So if you wanna install and do it together with us, and the video that I'm gonna make is gonna go here, on articlelinks.com installation. Always use a start here and see what it is. So in this article, we'll make this video, we put this video. So downloading, you wanna download us, go for Belnet because Belnet does not cost us anything. You go to this one, but this is the version from March, but the structure is exactly the same. So you go up here, ISO needs to go, and then you'll find the AAG. So it's only in there for one week and everything is good. It just gets, it goes to the ISO folder and that's it. We just move it we, if it's all, all right, of course, right? If we can release it, it's just a copy paste. Well, actually move. So the last ISO, the one we're going to in, download is now at this point in time here, the extra small. So that's what it stands for, XL, extra large. GIMP is there, Inkscape is there, three browsers are there, editors are there. This guy, not so much. So let's have a look. No applications whatsoever. How will that look? Everything is loaded up, it's there. And boot we shall on the second screen, which is not where we don't need to be. So let's go for Ctrl F again. And here already I need to tell you something. 95% of our people will need to try the first line. Some of us bought hardware, a machine, that has just one piece of hardware, NVIDIA, the graphical card. And some of us in the past could not boot up because the kernel of Linux says, what's that? And they get a black screen. So we have now this ISO of May that provides you the power to boot up straight off from the ISO in the live DVD with NVIDIA and later on, of course, also on your uh, operating system. So that's a big change. But like I said, most of us probably gonna use this guy. This is for the NVIDIA and this is another possibility. Any of these guys can be edited on any Linux distribution, tap or E, tap and start typing, right? Only what you only need now is to Google and ask what should I do in this case or that case. A few lines up, it says Nouveau Mozart equals one. One is true, zero is false. And you can change these things for one, but you can also add things, text that you find, you should do this and that on forums. It's here, it's tab, it's E, you got it, okay? So um, that's interesting to know. We're going to go for an open source driver since this is a virtual box. Otherwise, if you took line number two, it will boot up in XFCE and it will have NVIDIA in the menu. It will have the driver running on your live DVD. Well, live system. And um, the rest of us, well, we are now waiting that NVIDIA is going to be removed. So we're giving a few solidarity seconds there to other people. And NVIDIA is installed, is now gone again from our live DVD. So if you choose line number two, you see the words of the application NVIDIA there. And this is our very minimal system. So you're probably wondering, 
Arconix XS extra small, what does that mean then? It means that everything works. It means that everything looks nice. That you have printers, that you have Bluetooth, that you have wireless. It's all working. But what do we have? Accessories. This is just XFCE stuff. This is the better lock screen from us, tweak tool from us. So our tools are obviously there. People like Conkeys. So Conky Toggle, Conky Zen, it's there. Mousepad was not from us. X XFCE4 and XFC4 goodies for the guys who already know the group names. That's why Mousepad is on there. Okay, notes, screen pop, all XFC stuff. This is there because we want to uh, well burn our ISOs or um, share some information, make a beautiful USB disk. And variety, of course, is there as a changer in the wallpaper. So if you see wallpapers change or never change, go and have a look at variety, uninstall it, go for the settings, say don't do anything, do not start, etc. Lots of options, lots of videos, articlinks.com. So we were going through the list, accessories, graphics. This is just XFC, not from us. So it is all XFC4 and XFC4 goodies burning uh, CDs and DVDs, not our thing. It's not on the Arclinx XL. But all it's not on the XL. We don't like it, we don't want it there. But this is, like I said, the group of XFC4 and XFC4 goodies. Some more things like Grub Customizer, Gparted, Fix Hearted Code, Icon, U-Block is still there. So stuff that matters, that this is important, is there, it's still working right it's still efficient it's still um, a workflow we like but as you see where are the browsers nothing installed so that's why we have this big gap here <laughs> nothing is installed it's entirely up to you to install it okay so that's the xs i thought i'll just show you guys so you don't need to install it and you know already, okay, so that's the point, right? That's the point. This is just bare XFCE, but with a nice look. So if you're living in the other part of the world, maybe you'd like to update your Arch Linux mirrors, but it's most of the time there is no need to. If you go for a little shortcut, you know where the packages are coming from. And for many of us, Osbeck.com, I thought it was Sweden, is good for us, is fast for us. But okay, if you have the feeling you need to update Arch Linux mirrors, do so. If you want to go and have a look at your system, say, oof, what partitions did I make and how do I want to do it and all that, you can make your decisions here and trash your partition, etc. etc. We have our Arch Linux Calamaris tool, which allows us to choose the preferred file system. So last March we made an exercise and made sure that anything can be selected and this is the power of Arclinx. We don't want to limit your options. We want to give you freedom. We could say to Calamaris, never mind the users, it's going to be beta or FS for sure and for everyone and no choice. So we are all four choices for freedom and you can choose whatever you want. Let's, for this um, video, let's take another one. Because if you don't do this, it's going to be standard X4. And I've just made a video of Arconix XL, who just stayed X4. We did not do anything. We closed it. We did not save it. So now I'm going to save it and show you guys that we have PTRFS on our system. But first do that, then do Calamars, right? It's now we've changed a few letters inside the scripts of Calamaris. And now, of course, not after, but before. You change the file system and then you go to Calamaris. All right, versions will change. It's great software. Thank you, Adrian and your team for supporting Linux that this, this way. Because it's a free open source system and it gets better, better and better over time. We have all the time freedom since the may edition of 2021 you'll have lots more freedom 
in the sense that this was there already, right? And remember, what you see is what you get. So this thing, what you navigate through, is gonna be copy pasted over to your system. But it's a frozen thing. It's it's in, in time. It's frozen. And when was it frozen? Well, Control T, ISO. At this point in time, we got our packages from the internet, from the servers of Arch Linux. Boom. That's it. It's frozen on the ISO. But later on, let's say in December 2021, right, we'll maybe want to boot up straight away with the latest Linux kernel. Then this is the option. This is going to get it from the internet. If you got the internet, right? Since it's red, it means I have internet. I wants to update. There's no point in updating the live DVD, the live environment. No point at all. Okay, so yeah, we can select Linux LTS if we need it. Sometimes people really need to have an older kernel. Well, not an old, that's the wrong word. Older, long-term support, that's LTS. And it supports uh, older software as well, uh, older hardware as well. Okay, that's good. Next. I try to word it as, as, as clearly as possible, but the guys who need NVIDIA boot up with NVIDIA in the buys or UFI. That's what you do, right? But even so, if, if it was possible to boot up graphically and you see something in the live environment, the screen I'm on now, you can still decide to say, oh, I forgot to go for a NVIDIA or an NVIDIA LTS because both of these things, well, they're different packages. So you need different packages here as well for NVIDIA. So it goes together. These guys are now installed by default on our system in the hope that it will support more people. It's also on here in the idea that if you download the ISO and install it in December, maybe there is already a new Video Nouveau out for NVIDIA, right? Nouveau NVIDIA. So maybe you'd like to try out and see if that works for your system. So you download the latest version at that point in time. Now, you all know if you're an, an Arch Linux user, you all know that we've made the move to SDDM. So you don't need to install SDDM. But what you can install is more fun. So themes. And there are many themes we've created and they're ours. They're on our GitHub. We can do anything with it. We can update it. We can maintain it. And surely we'll create more because when we see one we like, we can add it. But there is more choices. If you do want to have LightEM, then that's possible. It will be the standard Arch Linux LightEM. All right, next. This is new. This is new. We have now a very minimal XFCE, but we can have CWM together with XFCE. But you make the decision to not go for Tunar, but go for Nemo or something else, Nautilus, or something else. So it's still very um, a choice, a freedom, to have a look, what exactly do I want on my system? Or go for DWM, etc., etc. So this is now on any of our ISOs from anywhere, 26 ISOs, you always can combine desktops. So we go for next, and then we have communication, we know all these tools for uh, since the last releases and you choose your application you like during your setup and this is for us so this is a software for Arch Linux developers and beta testers so we like to use or to have discord so we can talk to each other serve something make screenshots we use GitHub for our githubs melt to share this is simple screen recording that I'm working now recording this thing here, sublime text. Yeah, we need to edit things, chat with each other and a search. So these things will be useful if you develop ISOs. Belgian next, otherwise I can't type. And then we choose what we want and take a look at this 
five letters butter fs right ptr fs no swap with swap choose whatever you want you see here what happens to your system you get a small partition and in this case you don't have a partition at all you have a file the file can become bigger with a small script simple as that so with 16 gigabytes well in this case it's a virtual box but eight is still good enough for a linux system and we choose how we log in if we want to use the same password if we want to auto login it's all a choice entirely up to you and for me that's the end of the video right it's going to create a btrfs partition it's going to copy paste all what you see so what you see is what you get remember that so this thing at least is going on your system and the rest all the software so you selected more discord telegram gimp and so on that will be downloaded around here somewhere and installed so that will take its time depending you have a fast internet depending you have a fast pc it will go well faster or slower simple as that so enjoy the new freedom you've been given um so Arconix xs is our new little well little in the sense that we don't have a lot of applications on there it's about i think we can see it somewhere if i do a control f here if i can do control f there you are i have here a summary somewhere that gives you an idea articles additions so 2.4 gigabytes is the one that's the flagship extra large extra small it is 1.7 so 3 and 4 700 megabyte less of software packages were now missing <laughs> so all these guys that i normally install are not on our system yeah it's having trouble with the virtual box all right guys have fun choose what you like we give you the freedom and the tools use our websites use the search and you'll find many things to learn all right cheers